morning, everyone. Ooh, hang on, I gotta make sure this door doesn't slam on us. There we go. Hello, and welcome to yoga. <coughs> cough, cough. Oh, wow, that music's loud. Okay, let me know if the music is too loud. Also, it looks like my head is cut off, so let's tilt you up just a touch. Oh, I went the wrong way. That might be too much. We will find out. What hello? Oh yeah, too much. Too much, Megan. Now we're looking at the ceiling. You can't see me down here. Go goofy. It's so it's amazing to me, like such a slight movement. Really makes a big difference. Okay. So Welcome to Level Up Your Decks. We will be doing some yoga today. All right, that's okay-ish. I might still adjust it a, a bit more. Um, yeah, uh, and today we're just gonna do some nice stretching. I just wanna stretch out today. I think I need some of that, and hopefully you will also uh, enjoy some stretching. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. We've got our um, September goal over here. So that's just gonna be a goal for all of September. Um, basically, the, the if you think about this as a donation-based class, they exist out in the world. You go to those, you donate what you can, if you can. Uh, and that's what we're working towards for the month of September. It helps me to continue to bring this to you, of course. Uh, and, uh, and I know that sometimes you cannot, or you don't want to. Uh, and also just spreading the word is very helpful. Being here is very helpful, so I appreciate that. Yeah. So I think that's about it. Um, as always, make sure that you listen to your body, do what feels comfortable for you. I'm just gonna give you alignment. You know your body the best, especially since I can't see you, I can't help with any adjustments. Really listen and make sure you don't do anything that hurts. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. So we'll go ahead and start. I'm gonna adjust this one more time. Oh, hello Zuko. She's right under the camera. Hopefully that will be just perfect. Since I, yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Good job, me, good job. Okay, so today we will start on our backs. Um, yeah, let's do that. So go ahead and find a comfortable position laying flat. You can have knees bent or legs extended, whichever feels best for you. So let's just find a few deep breaths here, inhaling through the nose, exhaling out the mouth, and just continue this breath. Let the exhales be an audible sigh. body that are comfortable and the parts that are uncomfortable. We just want to see where we're at. This will help us be able to know what poses are going to be comfortable or not. 
how to listen to the body. Basically, you want to let, if you find a part of the body that you want to go gentle on, you want to let that guide you. Modify for it as you move today. And on our next inhale, let's stretch arms over our heads. And we'll reach from fingers to toes. Hi, Maru. I'm glad you like it. I like it too. I just wanted to find so I've not listened to it all the way through. So we'll, we'll learn together what it's like. And then on an exhale, let's move through alternating knees to chest. So we're going to exhale one knee in. Hands go behind the knee joint on the side. Next inhale, we'll extend our arms and leg back out. We'll exhale the opposite knee in. <clears throat> and just continue side to side. We're still going with those deep breaths in and out through the nose. just now joining us. Let's, let's find one more on both sides. And then after the last one, we're going to draw both knees in, placing hands behind the knees right on the side to protect those knees. And let's just rock side to side and we can massage the back a little bit. Oh, my back needs that massage, apparently. Let's come back to center and let's switch to hip knee circles. So placing hands to the outside of our knees. On the inhale, letting knees fall open. We'll start to drop feet towards the mat, then bring knees back together. Exhale, knees to chest. And just going with the breath at your own pace. Let's switch direction, and I'll show you that here in just a moment. So we're going this way, but continue with the breath at your own pace. One more. Do you guys ever rub your eyes and then it makes your nose feel weird? <laughs> that happens to me. I think it's so weird. All right. So after the last one, let's drop feet to the mat, and then from here, find ankles and knees in line with the hip sockets, hands beside our hips, and on an inhale, let's lift the hips straight up as high as feels comfortable into bridge. Exhale, we'll roll back down one vertebra at a time. And right, we'll just continue with the breath at your own pace. Mm, just continuing this. Get to where I can see you guys again. They do, Maru. My eyes do get watery when I yawn, and my nose runs. It drives me bananas. That's why I don't like yawning. <laughs> I always get, I'm always like, no, I need Kleenex. Let's find one more. 
eating back on the mat. Let's walk feet all the way, all the way together. Let knees fall open into reclining butterfly. We're gonna take arms up to a T. On an exhale, we're gonna flow through this. So exhale, draw knees and arms up, cross one arm on top of the other, find a hug across the chest. Inhale, let arms and knees fall back open. Next exhale, we're gonna cross the other arm on top. And just continue switching the arms on each exhale. Already hungry for lunch. All I ever want is lunch. <laughs> Let's find two more. Ooh, boy. All right, after the last one, meet back with arms still out, but draw knees together, and then walk the feet back to hip socket distance. <clears throat> and we're going to switch to a twist. So on an exhale, let both knees fall to one side. And we'll inhale the knees all the way to the other side. And exhale them back to the first side. And just continue with the breath. You can always go at your own pace. You don't have to go at mine. Please always feel free to add something under the knees, some kind of cushion. Anything you have can work. You can just, if you have a mat, you can just roll it up a little bit. Now make sure joints are stacked, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, and we're going to flow through cat-cow. Start with cat on the exhale, rounding through the spine. We'll inhale, cow curving through the spine. And just continuing with the breath. through both <clears throat> and after the last one let's come back to a neutral spine and let's switch to spinal balance so on an inhale take the right arm and the left leg out in line with the spine kick your couch like I did good reaching from heel to fingertips foot is flexed exhale release switch sides left arm right leg good and we're just continuing side to side with the breath on both sides. Hello, me. Hello. Good morning. All right, let's come back to all fours after the last one. We're going to switch to lateral flexion. So we're just exhaling as we look back towards our feet. Inhale to center. Exhale to the other side. And continuing with the breath. Find 
and one more on both sides. And then after the last one, come back to child's pose. So sit back on your heels, forehead to the mat. And we can rock side to side, massage the hips a bit here. Down dog, so curl toes under, lift the tailbone to the highest point, and let's alternate heel press. So we're pressing down on one heel, bending the other knee, switching back and forth, and going with the breath. I think I already said that a few times. Breath, 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 breath. All of the breath. Ugh. Let me pull you guys up here too, so I can see multiple presses. There we go. A, B, C. Yeah, always be breathing. Oh, let's move through a plank flow a few times. So create a way through the spine. Start at the feet round as you inhale forward to full plank, straight spine here. Exhale round back the way you came. So we'll just do a few of these. <sighs> Ouch, hello wrist. Good morning to you too. Hmm. Let's come back to the last one. Let's see back at down dog. And then once here, let's walk to the top of the mat. And we're gonna step back with the right foot and find a kneeling lunge. So Add cushion underneath that knee if you want. I have blocks under my hands. You certainly do not have to have blocks, but you could also place something else under the hands if you want. Ah, <sighs> there we go. All right, so make sure front knee stacks on top of front ankle. Hey! <laughs> ah, you have found my Halloween alerts. Thank you, Perfect Cosima. Hello! Welcome, everyone. We are doing some yoga. Um, Okay, uh, we're here in this kneeling lunge. We're gonna move through it, so I'm gonna go ahead and start that. Yes, so calming. <laughs> Exhale, come back forward. Inhale to come back. Hello, Cosima. I always wanna say Cosima because I think of, um, what is the name of that? Orphan Black, if anybody's watched that. Hello, hi everybody. We're doing some nice stretchy yoga today. If you've not followed perfect Cosima yet. You should. I believe that maybe all of you have, but if you haven't, you should. So get on that. It is like Cosima, or do they say it? That's how I always think of it. And then Dom always tells me it's Cosima. <laughs> so maybe it's Dom's fault. Sweet. Blame Dom. Good. Let's find one more of these. We're going to meet back at the lunge, and here let's open up the shoulder. So left hand to the left thigh, we're just gonna roll through it. Dom, Dom. <laughs> oh, Dom. Poor Dom. Yeah, you can blame Dom for most, most things probably. At least after Tyler. Sweet! Then I'm great. See, I gotta figure out that caster thing that you guys do. I haven't even played with that yet. All right, let's release this left hand down and uh, let's sweep both arms up. And on an exhale, we're gonna sweep forward. Good to see you, modern chow. And we'll inhale back up. And just go with the breath. So we're working on the hips here and the arms, opening up the shoulders some more. We're gonna be so open for all the stretching. How are you today, modern chow? What the hell, somebody's calling me. Don't they know it's yoga time? <sighs> I always love how Streamlabs decides to say everything all at once. Okay, let's find one more of these. And then let's bring hands back down and we're just gonna switch sides. So go ahead and step forward, step forward fold and we'll step back. 
and switch. And you guys, it is September. Oh, I get that, Modern Chow. Oh, look, <laughs> Streamlabs, you're, you're on top of it. All right, we're gonna do the same thing here real quick. So make sure front knee stacks on top of the front ankle. Inhales, you come back. Exhales, you go forward. Um, <clears throat> it is, so <clears throat> you can go give perfect Cosima a sub there, or you can sub here, of course, as well, <clears throat> for half price all month long. It's pretty fancy pants. That too, 10% off all submarine purchases. And it's not like the sub sandwich. It's submarines, full submarines. <clears throat> it is time to get that submarine you've always been hoping or dreaming about. You know, I've been dreaming about a submarine. My very own. Oh my God, no. Summer, the, have you guys, if you guys ever been to Disneyland, there's, um, I forget what it's called. It's it's like a Nemo submarine, something or other. And you get down into like an actual submarine under the water a little bit. Let's go ahead and come back to our lunge and we're gonna take this right hand to the right thigh and roll through this right shoulder. Um, I, I don't like, I don't, I'm not a big, water and I don't get along super well. Uh, neither do like spaces underwater that are tight and confined and hard to get in and out of. Submarines are scary, is what I'm saying. Even little dinky ones. All right, let's release this hand and uh, so let's sweep both arms up. We'll hinge up. Exhale, hinge forward, sweep arms forward. I mean, you know, I think that I also probably wouldn't be huge big on coffins in general, uh, and especially while alive, you know, just, not my thing. I mean, they're a great aesthetic. I just don't want to be in one. <laughs> uh, doesn't sound like fun. You know, I thought this was all going to be guitar music. Wasn't it guitar music to start? Now it's like all piano me. Piano me music. Oh, yeah, I have a new uh, emote, you guys. It's a Zuko. For anyone who's. Subscribe. You can use Zuko sitting in a very dumb white. It's adorable. <laughs> Let's find one more of these. And then after the last one, we're going to come all the way back down. And then we're going to step through ah, to forward fold. Huzzah. Okay. From here, let's inhale to reverse one deck. So bend knees, hinge. We're going to come all the way up. So we're hinging from the hips. Let's pull through chair a few times because it's such a great warm up. Exhale, sit back, wait until heels and hips are sweep forward. Inhale, back up. And just go with the breath a few times. Ah, oh, my head's cut off. Oh, well, if I scoot back this way, maybe not as much. It's attack of the birds, you guys. The bird is so loud, I don't know if you could hear him. Do, 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 do. Zuko certainly hears him. Let's do one more. Ah, and then from here, ooh, this feels good. Just reach up for a moment. And we're gonna switch to a sun citation. So on an exhale, it's one dive. Bend knees, hinge, come all the way down to forward fold. On an inhale, lift halfway to monkey. So hands on the mat or shins, torso's coming about halfway up. Exhale, step back to child's pose. Or if you know the full version and want to do it now, feel free. Oh, thanks, Streamlabs. You're... Why are you saying that so often? Okay, inhale forward to kneeling plank. Shoulders over wrist, hips past knees. Shift the body weight forward a bit more. Exhale, kneeling crocodile. So we're bending elbows and then we're gonna release hips and belly to the mat. And just use the core to lift the shoulders into low cobra. Hands mostly rest. Exhale, lead with the hips. Keep the back flat as you come all the way back into child's pose then we're going to step back to the tops of our mats into forward fold bingle bongle dingle dangle yickety do yickety da <laughs> ping pong what inhale -ta. reverse swan dive thank you for the bits that's supposed to be a different noise now oh thank you so much Vondo. yay bits well one of them got halloween that one was supposed to be a cool halloween one too oh i'm doing like just continuing chair let's do one more exhale swan dive down Inhale, lift halfway 
to monkey. Exhale, down dog or child's pose. So down dog's the full flow. Feel free to do the previous one if you would like. Inhale, reverse, or inhale, come forward to plank, full or kneeling. Shift forward onto the toes, exhale, crocodile, full or kneeling. Mm -hmm. Inhale, pull the belly button through, flip over the feet, up dog, or low cobra. Exhale, back to down dog or child's pose. And then you can hop, step, or walk to the top of the mat, forward fold, I'm gonna walk today. On the inhale, reverse swan dive. And we'll exhale, chair. Good, let's inhale back up. We're gonna exhale, we're gonna swan dive back down. And we're gonna step back to down dog. We're just gonna hold the pose here. And just breathe into the legs, the back. So today we're focusing on all the stretching, focusing on that more than anything else today. Nice, stretchy practice. That's why we have a bit more relaxing music today. What is up dog indeed? I will never tell you. I'm gonna take that very literally. All right, so on the next inhale, let's sweep the right leg straight up and back. On an exhale, draw the knee in. We're gonna step through to a lunge. Oh, hello, Jordan. Thanks for subscribing for all the yoga. For three months. Oh, I gotta update. Oh, no, I did. Yay, you have the proper M. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all of my all of my alerts are, uh, we're just holding this lunch, by the way. All of my alerts are Halloween themed now, except for the bits one, apparently, which is supposed to be. Yep, I think it's like a laugh. I forget which is which. I didn't hear it, so. All right, let's switch here. Uh, let's actually come up to warrior one. So we're going to adjust the back foot, turn it about a 45 degree angle, foot is flat, front knee is bent, hinge, come all the way up to warrior one. Yay, Halloween stuff. <clears throat> and then once here, let's take arms behind us. We're going to find chest expansions, so clasp hands, or hold an imaginary beach ball, or hold any object you have between your hands if you want. Uh, and then make sure this left hip is turning inward, front knee is bent. We're pressing into both feet as we reach up. I'll turn this way too so you can see it, hopefully. Let's see how this hip is turning in. There's a twist in the hips here, which we want. Ah. Man, I don't feel like I've hardly done anything and I'm sweating. Sweaty, sweaty, sweat, sweat. Good, exhale, let's release this chest expansion. We're gonna to switch to pyramid. So we're gonna turn this back foot all the way in, all the way forward with the foot completely flat. You might need to step in with the foot to do that. <clears throat> front leg will straighten out without locking the knee. We're gonna hit and swing the hips and walk hands to the front thigh to start. So notice how my spine stays straight. I'm just bending here, not bending in the back. All right, and then what we're looking for is a stretch in this front hamstring. So if you don't feel it here, you can walk past the knee to the shin. You can place hands on something on either side of the foot or on maybe a chair or something in front of you. <clears throat> or hands can be on the mat, but just know that it's about the stretch, not necessarily getting all the way to the mat. Good. I mean, if I forced it, I could definitely get my head to my shin, but that's not really what I want here. I want the stretch. And I want the spine to stay straight so I don't uh, transfer the stretch to the low back. And then also we want the hips to stay at the same time. Why is it doing the wrong ones? Also, it's not showing you guys. Hey, thank you for the follow though, Bariknikov. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, hello, BSB Care. Thank you. It's supposed to be Halloween. My alerts, I don't know you guys, I have a lot of trouble with the alerts. I don't know why. I gotta mess with it some more. All right, let's find one more deep breath here. And the exhale, we're going to bend this right knee uh, and let's actually readjust the back foot for warrior two. So you're going to step back a little bit. The foot's going to turn about parallel to the short edge of the mat. And we're going to pinwheel up. So we're going to bring the left arm and then the right into warrior two. Seriously, I do blame Brock's computer. Indeed. It's definitely his fault. All right, so warrior two. So front knee is bent, feet are in line. Right knee is pressing uh, towards the right pinky toe, so we're opening up this knee, the hips. 
and let's bring arms out in front we're gonna cross left over right for a hug or wrap or stack for eagle arms <sighs> there we go sinking down we're breathing into the space between the shoulder blades streamlined <laughs> oh my god all at once all at once All right, let's, let's find one more deep breath. On the exhale, release the arms. Let's switch to triangle. We'll stretch out the hips a bit more. So front leg straightens without locking the knee, hips back. Left hip turns in as much as you need to to hinge from the hips. And then we'll find the right hand anywhere on the right leg except for the knee. And on an inhale, sweep the left hand to the sky, stack shoulders. Left hand could also go to the hip. But we're just looking to stretch this inner right thigh. We're pressing into the left foot. And you can look up towards the sky out in front of you or down towards your toes. It's really whatever feels comfortable to you today, for you, to you, either way. They both work. I like this song. Good, next exhale, let's bend this right knee. Turn the hips to face the mat, the torso, pick up the back heel, find the lunge. <clears throat> We're gonna step back to down dog. Take a moment here. Ah. Sometimes down dog feels real good. All right, let's move through vinyasa. Inhale forward to fuller kneeling plank. Shift forward, exhale, fuller kneeling, crocodile. Shift forward, inhale, up dog or little cobra. Exhale, back to down dog or child's pose. Good, then we're gonna inhale the left leg straight up and back. Exhale, draw the knee into the chest, lift, step through to the lunge, we'll hold the lunge here. Find those deep breaths. Reaching through the top of the head a little bit so the spine can stay long. And again, hands can be on the mat, of course. Of course, of course. But they can also be on something else, if you want. <clears throat> Whew. All right, let's switch for warrior one. So we're gonna readjust the back foot. So it's about 45 degree angle. Most likely we'll need to step in for that. And the foot's flat, hinge will come up. Ooh, I can feel my hips today. Uh, let's, let's bring, you know what, this time, let's actually bring the left hand to the left hip. We're going to take the right hand to the sky, bend the elbow. So we're reaching towards the upper back here. Um, you can stay like this, bring the left hand to that right elbow or sweep the left hand behind the back the other direction and reach fingertips to think towards fingertips. Good. This, this opens up the chest. You can also hold some in between the hands if you want. And it opens up the arms, the shoulders. Somebody's unhappy outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that. <laughs> Next, exhale. Let's release the arms. Switch. Left arm up. Bend at the elbow. And again, you can sweep the right hand behind. You can reach up to the elbow or just place it on the hip. Whatever option feels best. Focus on those deep breaths. Go. Good. Next exhale, release the arms. We're going to switch to our warrior two. So turn hips open. I'll switch sides too. You can go through there. You can go fall. It's just a candle. I guess she's just going to sit there. Okay. You're all right. You're okay. <laughs> Good warrior two. So the back foot's uh, about parallel to the short edge of the mat. Left knee is bent. Arms are up at shoulder height. Let's actually bring arms out across uh, right over left. Hug, wrap, or stack. It's just a candle. She's like, I don't know. Halloween candy. Ooh, we got her a Halloween. There you go. We got her Halloween collars that are going to come today. 
I'm excited. <laughs> kitty, silly kitty. All right, exhale to release the arms, wipe off the sweat. Okay, and let's straighten out, let's fall over, let's straighten out the left leg, we'll switch to triangle. So hips back, right hip in as much as feels comfortable, hinge, left hand anywhere on the left leg, except the knee, right hand to the sky. Or hip, you can gaze to the sky out in front of you or towards your toes. If we're looking for the stretch in this left leg, press into the right foot, focus on the breath. favorite poses. I just think it feels good. Next exhale, let's bend the left knee. Let's slowly turn torso to face the mat, finding a lunge. Step back to down dog. Take a moment here. Move through a vinyasa. So inhale forward to fuller kneeling plank. Shift forward, exhale fuller kneeling crocodile. Shift forward, inhaling up dog or low cobra. And exhale back to down dog or child's pose. Oh boy. Down dog feels good. One moment, I can't see. I see where we are. All right. So from here, let's walk, hop, or step to the top of the mat. Forward fold. On the inhale, let's reverse swan dive. We'll come all the way up. Upgrade in progress. You have been upgraded, Maru. Thank you for the subscription. But you were supposed to be Halloweened instead. Streamlabs, you big jerk. Okay. Um, so from here, we're going to switch to uh, standing spinal twist. Yay! <laughs> Namaste, Zuko. <laughs> Zuko, Zuko, Zuko. That's what that makes me think of. Um, so standing spinal twist, bring weight and balance to the left foot, draw the right knee up, knee comes in line with the hip, foot is flexed, find a nice long spine, when you're ready, belly goes first towards the lifted leg, head last, both hands to that right thigh, or you can open the right arm out behind you, or place it on the hip, we'll hold here, and continue to reach through the top of the head, <clears throat> Almost fall over like I did, but focus on the breath. Good, next exhale, let's turn back to center, release that leg, shake them out if you would like. And <clears throat> switch sides. Weight balance to the right foot, draw the left knee up. Knee is in line with the hip, foot is flexed, long spine. When you're ready, belly first towards this lifted leg, head last. Both hands to the left thigh, open the left arm up behind you or place it on the hip. Focus on the breath. One more deep breath. On the exhale, let's turn back to center, release the leg. Shake them out if you want. And then from here, let's inhale both arms up. And let's swan dive on the exhale. And just shake and nod the head here a little bit and release neck and shoulders. You can cross the arms, you can wrap them around the legs. But just breathe nice and deep. All right, from 
from here, the cops are coming. No, from here, let's go ahead and step back to uh, all fours. And let's come all the way back to child's pose. And we'll take just a moment here. You can find any variation. You have arms over the head or by the feet. So just take a moment. And we're opening up the hips here a little bit. Hmm. This pose always makes me feel so compact. Next inhale, let's come back to all fours, fixing hips to one side, we'll swing the legs around, just seated staff, away helicopter, God, they're so loud sometimes, okay, sitting nice and tall, when you're ready, <clears throat> uh, we're going to stretch the hamstrings, so feet are flexed, if you need to elevate the hips, please feel free to do so, sit on anything you need, if you feel like you're falling backwards or the back is rounding. And we're just going to hinge forward, walking hands down the legs, stop when the spine begins to round, and we'll just hold here. Ah. This music. Oh, piano music. I can't hear it as well as I assume you guys can, so sounds weird from in here. crying child. It's noisy here in Los Angeles. Uh, one time we actually had a helicopter when we lived in a, a different apartment that was next to another complex that got windows open to it and that they had just torn that down and I guess somebody was there so they were shining lights in our window. It was really weird. Anyway we were like hello. Okay <clears throat> let's go to our backs. So place both hands behind one leg. We'll use that leverage to come all the way back to the mat, and we're going to find bridge. So place feet flat on the mat. Ankles and knees are in line with the hip sockets. Hands are beside our hips. Keep your gaze to the sky here. We don't want to turn the head side to side since we're at an angle on the neck with some pressure. When you're ready, inhale, lift the hips. Squeeze the inner thigh a little bit to keep knees in line with the hip sockets. And find those deep breaths. Man, I want to make this supported. Let me show you this lovely supported variation. We place that right under the hip socket. Well, rather under the sacrum would be a better way to put it. I suppose it is under the hip sockets. <clears throat> if you have something uh, that can do that, you can do that as well. But otherwise, squeeze the inner thighs, find those deep breaths. Here, we're going to roll back to the mat. Ugh. All right, and let's switch to 
knees to chest, and we'll let the back release. I'm upside down, so I can't see what you guys are saying. Uh-huh. Yeah, seriously. Now it sounds like somebody's hammering. We're doing good, you guys. Doing good. Uh, all right, from here, let's switch to um, Happy Baby. So it feels nice on the back and it opens up the hips. So we're gonna find a yoga toe hold. First two fingers up around the big toe, thumb kind of caps off on the top. Uh, knees fall open. We want ankles over knees as much as possible. You can rock side to side. <clears throat> we are looking for the stretch of the hips. Uh, you can also just hold the pose. This feels nice because when I rock, it's just a bit of a different spot on my back. A little bit higher than knees to chest. If you guys can hear it, but I hear a hummingbird outside going chirp, 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 chirp. All right, next exhale, let's release this pose. And we're going to take our right arm over the head and we're going to roll onto the right side, letting the head rest on that arm. And we're going to find a quad stretch. So we're going to bend this top left knee, taking the left foot towards the glute, reaching back to the left hand for the left ankle <clears throat> so we can flex the foot. All right, and we want the knee to stay in line with this hip socket, so avoid lifting the knee up. You're not going to find the stretch there quite as much, and it also can twist all the joints. So we want to avoid that, but what you can do is point the knee behind you a little bit, press the ankle into the hand as if you're trying to press the foot away from the body, and just send the breath into the stretch. Actually, I'm going to scoot back towards this side of the mat. There we go. Clap, 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 clap. Let's find two more deep breaths here. On that second exhale to release. Let's draw the knee in towards the chest and we'll extend the leg out in front of us. And then let the left shoulder open to the mat behind you. We'll move into a twist. Ah, uh, and you can bend the knees for less intensity or extend them out for more. Somebody's cooking something and it smells really good. Mm. All right, next exhale. Let's come back and we're going to switch sides. We're going to turn to this side. But take the left arm over the head and we'll roll onto the left side. We'll find our quad stretch. So bend that top right knee, reach back to the ankle, flex foot. Keep all those joints in line. Good. Focus on the stretch in that right side. Next exhale to release that leg. Draw the knee towards the chest, extend the leg out in front of you. And we'll let the right shoulder open to the mat behind us, moving into a twist. And again, you can adjust the legs, bending the knees for a little less intensity, extending legs out for more. Thank 
My next exhale is come back. <laughs> that startled me. And let's move to our backs. And from here, let's cross the right ankle over the left thigh. And we'll find upside down pigeon. So you can stay like this, or you can draw the left knee in towards the chest and clasp hands woo, behind that left thigh. And we're looking for the stretch of that right outer hip and glute. Try and keep that right knee open. Keep that right foot flexed. Focus on the breath. Next, exhale to release and let's switch sides. So we'll draw the left leg up, crossing the left ankle over the right thigh. And again, you can stay here or draw the right knee in, clasping hands behind that right thigh. Just breathe into the stretch. Next exhale, let's go ahead and release. Ooh. And we're going to switch to final relaxation. So find any position that feels comfortable. You can lay flat in Shavasana or really find any other position that you like. We're going to close our eyes here. And turn your attention back to the breath. Just letting it be full and deep. And turn your attention to the breath, to your surroundings. So we're not trying to escape or find some perfectly quiet, peaceful place. We actually just want to be present with what is. <clears throat> so listen to the things that you hear. Anything, just let them come to you. It can be the music, it can be the plane. <laughs> Anything that you notice. Notice the body as it presses into the mat. Notice what you feel. And if you catch the mind wandering, just bring it back once you notice to your surroundings, to your senses. And this is not easy to do, so don't feel like it needs to be perfect. It's just what we're working towards.
right, let's start to wiggle fingers and toes. We can add wrists and ankles, rotating them around. Let's stretch our arms over our heads, reaching through the body once more. Add the face, opening the eyes wide, and the mouth sticking out the tongue, taking a deep exhale. And then let's roll onto one side. We can use hands to bring ourselves up to seated, easy seated pose. And then once here, let's find one more deep breath. And we'll inhale both arms up. We'll exhale hands to the heart. Just take one moment here to check in after the practice. Namaste.